Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the appearance settings on your macOS device. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so all you have to do to get into the accessibility settings is go into system settings on macOS Ventura. If you're on Monterey or older, it will be system preferences and will look slightly different, but you should still be able to follow along to this process. Now, the good thing is on Ventura, appearance is what opens straight away in the system settings app. So you're right there, so you can get straight into the appearance menu. If for some reason it isn't selected, you can just find it in the sidebar. It's under general and you can go to appearance here. So what you can see is there's a fair few different options here. So this is just adjusting the general appearance of your overall Mac. So um, we'll start from the top and then we'll go through all the different options here. So the first thing here is appearance. So this is changing your device between light, dark and auto. So what this does is there's two modes, light and dark mode. You can either select it to be always light, which is sort of the traditional macOS look, or you can select it to be always dark mode, um, which was introduced a couple of macOS versions ago, or you can have it to be auto. And what auto does is uh, whenever the sun's up, say between sunrise and sunset, it's on light mode. And then when the sun sets between sunset and sunrise, it then goes to dark mode. So I usually use my Mac on auto, um, and actually all my iOS devices I generally use on auto, so I think that's quite nice, but you can choose what you want there. The next option is accent color. So this lets you choose between all these different colors that you can accent. Now by default, it's on multicolor, which means that depending on what app you're in, the accent color will change. So you can see in system preferences, the accent color is blue, and that it also carries over to like the, uh, the other menus, like in the menu bar, you can see it's blue. However, if I go into something like music and we go into it here, you'll see that the accent color changes. So you'll see that on things like um, the sidebar here, the accent color is um, red and that carries throughout the most of the music app. So sometimes there's a few inconsistencies, like usually on my Mac, why I was clicking up here before is because usually uh, it would change it here as well, but for some reason it hasn't done that today. Um, but the accent color does change depending on what app you're in. And I've, if I, for example, changed it to red, then you'll see that the accent color on all of this changes to red and also things like on in the menu bar, it all goes to a reddish color. And you can change through all of these to choose what you like. Um, you could have always blue or things like that. So then below that, the um, next thing which sort of corresponds to this is the highlight color. So your highlight color can either be the accent color or you can set, set it to be any other color. So if we were to choose red, then what that means is when you highlight something, uh, let's see if I can find something to highlight here and we'll go to Apple's website. Uh, if you try to highlight something, you'll see it's now gone red. So you'll see up here, um, if I make this a bit bigger and I highlight this bit of text here, you'll see it's red. If I change that to a different color, such as green, you'll see it changes to green. Or if I go to the accent color here, it will always be whatever the accent color is. So that's uh, a good option there. Then you can choose the sidebar icon size. You can go from small, which you'll see changes it here. And this will change it on all of the sidebars as well, such as in here. So you can choose between small, medium, which is default, and also large, which will make it a lot bigger. And you can also allow wallpaper tinting in the window. So what that does is if we go into Safari, you'll see that there's behind the uh, main page of Safari, there's a wallpaper tint. If we turn that off, you'll see that it sort of removes a little bit of the wallpaper tint and it changes sort of the color temperature. 
So you'll see in system preferences at the moment, uh, when I turn it on, it allows a little bit of a tint, so it looks a bit warm or white. Uh, if I turn that off, it just goes straight cool white because there's nothing in the background that it's working off of. So that's the first part. Then in the second part, just quickly, you can see sc show scroll bars. Uh, there's a few options here automatically based on mouse or trackpad when scrolling or always. So uh, by default, it's always, but we can change that. So this is pretty self-explanatory. If I click when scrolling, it goes away and it only comes up when I scroll. And automatically based on mouse or trackpad, it will work it out based on what you're using. So, uh, and the other thing is, is click in the scroll bar to either jump to the next page or jump to the spot that's clicked. So by default, it's jumped to the spot that's clicked. So I can jump around here and jump to where it's clicked, or I can jump to the next page, um, which um, might not do anything on this, but we'll see if we go into applications. Uh, that might not work on this user because there's not many files, but um, as it says, it will jump to the next page. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the appearance settings uh, in this page. Now, this is just the general appearance settings. On In settings, you can get way deeper into all of this, and I've got some tutorials about how to do change appearance settings like screen savers and accessibility and all that sort of stuff. So uh, even lock screen stuff. So if you want to check those out, um, have a look at my channel. You can see the tutorials playlist and you'll find all of those tutorials there. But this is just a general overview. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and gave you a good idea about how to change just the general appearance settings on your macOS device. Um, just a bit of information here. Um, I'm currently filming this between the Christmas and New Year's holiday period. So um, that's why it was a little bit of a quicker video today. Um, so I still want to get something out for you guys, but it was just a bit quicker because I've got a lot happening um, in the holidays at the moment. So this will be my last video for the year of 2022. Um, depending on when you're watching this, this might have been released in 2023 or still in current 2022. Um, but just that's just a bit of information. So, you know, that's why I was a little bit shorter today. But I'm really excited for what 2023 brings on this channel with lots more content coming your way. So definitely stay tuned for that. And feel free to let me know in the comments below any video suggestions or other comments you have for me because I'm more than happy to hear those suggestions and get that feedback um, from you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.